And now into the ring, Dave Montempo is with the winner. Dave. Thank you, Sammy. Lou, of all the scenarios that you picture with this fight, was that one of them? Yes, it was, I'll be honest. I mean, we trained so hard for this, it's unbelievable. This is what, it was all teamwork, it was incredible. We had uh, Al Bolden, Tommy Gallagher, we had uh, Kenneth Richardson, Tim Hallmark, and uh, thank Jesus and God, number one. I, I'm dedicating this fight to three people, my father, my Uncle Jim, and Mr. O'Connor. And these are three, these are the true heroes in life, but this is what I'm dedicating this fight to. Thank you. All right, Luke, now, you said that you did it. Picture this scenario possibly coming true. Now. Did you think you could lure him into a mistake or he might not bring his jab back? You know what, I was so, yeah, that's the one thing we were looking at. We, we had studied films. I was training, I trained 14 weeks for this fight, getting up 5.30 every morning with my strength coach, Kenny, Tommy, uh, Al Bolden, everybody, and we just, Tim Hallmark, we just worked so hard for this. I, I mean, we had, to, we had to pay our dues and we just did it and everything worked out perfect. Lou, let's take a look at this first knockdown, first to knock down the sequence. Tell us what you see here. Well, I was looking, looking, and he kept dropping his jab. And I kept, oh, perfect. That's what we've been working on, turning our back foot. And that's what we did with Tim Hallmark and guys that I know talking about turning that back foot, and that's what we did. What did you think right there? I was just excited. I mean, you know, this is it. I just wanted to be calm, not get too crazy. I wanted to go to the body and then come back to the head. That was a titanic blow, the second one. Did yeah. you think the fight was over there? Yes, I did. He's busted a tough guy. I mean, he's a, he's a true legend, you know. The guy's a great fighter. And, uh, I'm sorry, but somebody has to be a loser, you know. Then you were able to get him the third time and uh, make no mistake about it. Yeah, yeah, I had him there. I caught him right on the temple. We've been practicing. We've been doing a lot of anaerobic work. We knew we could just keep stepping up, keep stepping up, keep stepping up, and that's what we did. You talked Alpha, about here, the house of pain. You talked about everything you did in Houston. In, in your mind, is this the best you've ever thrown the right hand? Oh, uh, we're throwing it straighter than ever, and we're turning it. I used to throw good, and I got away from it a little bit. Now, now we're doing things right. Hey, Lou, people were not saying Lou Savarese was going to win this fight. Now, oh, talk, about, talk about what this means now. Oh, I, I actually read in uh, one paper that I'm a sacrificial lamb. But let me tell you, this lamb bites because we came back, man. I mean, but, you know, that's what it's all about. And, uh, you know, it was just hard work, and that's what we did. We had a loss, and we came back. We didn't bury our heads, and yeah. we came back. This guy right here, we up Al Bolden. We're up 530 every morning. My teamwork, my manager, Phil Pulaski, uh, Ed Cotite, my uh, advisor, Bob and all the things worked out great. Tommy Gallagher, it's one big team. Your sentiments when this fight was officially over, first thing that ran through your mind? Just hard work, and thank God, I mean, obviously. And I was thinking about my dad, my yeah. father, my uncle Jim, and Mr. O'Connor. This is who I'm dedicating this fight to. Well, Lou, a career in one night, huh? Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, we're going to have a lot more to come, guys. <laughs> a career highlight in one night. Congratulations to Lou Savarese. Back to you, Sam.